Just when I think they're out, they pull me back in. So I bet you guys had forgotten uh, that I had done the uh, Star Trek Mission Crate stuff, uh, because so did I. Um, and after uh, any noises you hear in the background or Jackie messing around, Jackie, get down from there. Uh, the, Star the Star Trek Mission Crate, I started doing it, and then Loot Crate had issues over the summer. And I decided that it was it wasn't really worth it for me anymore, so I stopped my subscription. But I kept getting crates because there were major delays, and well, I got another uh, Star Trek crate. Although you wouldn't know, except for the fact that it says Star Trek dot com here, and it's supposed to say Mission Crate here, but somebody put a FedEx label on top of it. So I thought this was one of the delayed regular crates, but it's actually a very delayed Mission Crate. Um, how many? Three. I think this is number four. So I think I'm. St I still have two left if they're actually going to complete this thing. Um. So I don't think you need that much prologue. I've gone over in detail in the last video my dissatisfaction with this whole ordeal. Uh, but it seems like it's coming to a close uh, at some point. So let's open it up and see what we got. So. What we've got here is we have a, uh, well, I guess first order before I show you the t-shirt is the inside has the UFP logo, United Federation of Planets. And to start, we have a red alert uh, t-shirt. As I've explained in the past, black and red is sort of my aesthetic. Uh, my computer is black and red. My logo is black and red. So uh, this is a very good color for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually very happy with uh, the shirt. It feels like it's made of a, of a nice material and hopefully it won't shrink in the wash. Next up, there is another wearable. It is a baseball cap with the Klingon Empire uh, trefoil on it, which I actually really like. I don't usually wear baseball caps. Um, I'm not a big fan of them. I prefer other types of hats, as you can see. But uh, my major um, hat that I tend to wear is uh, I have an Ash vs. Evil Dead baseball cap uh, that I like, but this may replace it soon. Uh, looks pretty good, pretty comfortable. Uh, so this is good. Next up, ooh, we have a uh, we have a cold cup with the logo of the Borg on it. Um, you know, it's a typical cold cup. It's got the little instructions inside to tell you how to wash it. Uh, it seems sturdy. And you could probably put coffee or a nice soup in it, or perhaps a chili. I actually, um, had chili out of a Batman cold cup the other day, and it came out pretty good. Next, we have the... Ooh, this is interesting. Um, we have a star... a Klingon bird of prey. Uh, in just a sort of opened box. Um, it's got the Voyager Next Gen Deep Space Nine Enterprise logo. I guess because the, the ship was appeared like this in all of those shows. Uh, I've got the Star Trek logo, and it looks pretty good, pretty sturdy. Uh, very interesting. Uh, we also... As is customary, we have a Star Trek online code that gives you the uh, discovery, um, like the, the deluxe discovery starter pack, which includes something I already have, which is the, uh, the Shenzo ship, but you also get two bridge officers. You get a Klingon one, which looks like, uh, you know, Takuvma's followers, uh, and then you get the other one, which is um, uh, the Cyborg, it's like Arium, which I was debating buying in Stow, so uh, this is actually pretty good for me. It's a little bit lackluster when you compare it to, like, the first one, which was amazing, had a, uh, had a lot of cool stuff, but this is not bad considering how long we've been waiting for it. Uh, it's a pretty good collection of things. I mean, I really don't know at this point what I'm supposed to say about it. Uh, I'm only really doing these videos so that you can look at all the dates and go, wow, that took a really long time to complete. Uh, 
So if you want to, so you can take a look at it in the box. And I'm very disappointed with the box, by the way. I liked it when it was sort of themed, like you got the the first one was a shuttlecraft, and then I think the second one was uh like the black and red, the blue and red, and then maybe the third one looked like this too, and I was disappointed. I don't remember because it's been a while. Uh, um, so yeah, pretty good for what it is. Um, I don't really recommend it. Uh, I mean, I used to, I used to do the loot crate stuff when I was a subscriber. They, I don't know if they're better now that they're under new management, but they were not good. Um, at the tail end of my experience, which is why I canceled it. Uh. So, your mileage may vary if you uh, were wondering what you're missing out on with the Star Trek Mission Crate. This is what you're missing out on. Not much. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next Mission Crate review, probably in like two years. <laughs> see you then. Thank you all for watching, and if you liked the video, you can hit subscribe and watch one of my other videos. My videos can be found on any of these fine sites, and if you want to help out, maybe consider supporting the show on Patreon. See you next time.